welcome to Casa View Academy. Today we are going to review uh, one homeschool in the woods, one day to the world. That pack. There's ancient, modern, medieval, and natural wonders. We open it up. Here's the CN Tower. There, here, there it said, there's little tabs that you lift up. Where is the CN Tower located and why was it built? What was it made of? How long did it take to build? How tall was the structure and what did it weigh? And, last of all, is it still the tallest building in the world? That's one of the modern wonders of the world. And next is the, well, let's do on the right, the Empire State Building. It's another modern wonder of the world. You open it up and there's a 3D Empire State Building. Okay. There's the Great Wall of China. The bits you can take out of the... It, there's the catacombs of Kom El Sukafa. And you lift this up and there's bits about it. And there's the lost porcelain of Pagoda, which is here. You open it up and it tells you a bit about it. There's the Colosseum. And you, there's a little flap here you can lift up and down. And you'll, when you lift it up, you'll see a little figure guy. An armor, push it, push it down, and you won't see it. There's no one there. Okay, and now we can lift this. This goes to the right. Okay. There is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. What does the Leaning Tower do? Stonehenge. Ah, now here, if we open it up, it says a bit about it, and it leans. It used. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'll show you. So, if we lift this up, there's, here it is here, and it can move it, so that's what it would be if it was straight. That's what it is. Yeah. So, it, why was it leaning? What made it leaning? Well, that is the an this is the answer. It was built on top of a river, I think it was, which made it unstable. Um, and it, so it leaned over. Just recently, they um they made one slightly straighter, and. If we open this up, it should say here, it's eight stories high. It was eight stories high five years into the project. It's only three stories completed. Oh, so it's eight stories high. And after, after two years, by the looks of it, after three yeah, so after five years, three of the floors was completed. And it's a, if you read this bit, it was finally completed in the mid-14th century. And it was, it was, it was um, made of white marble and was de de designed to be about... 190 feet tall, although its current height after centuries is sinking, of sinking is about five feet shorter. Do you know anything else that leans? Well, yes, actually. There's, um, what was it called? Again, um, a place in where was it? Belfast. Oh yeah, that's true actually. The a uh, city near where we live called Belfast has a clock 
tower and it's actually leaning quite a bit. And why is that? See, wait, it's it was built on a river too. But see, the leaning tower of Pisa. It um I think it was a clock tower too. It was built right beside the church, actually. That that was its purpose. Um what was I gonna say? Oh, I well, don't know. Let's move on to the next one. Yes. There's also the Paricutine, a volcano in the in a cornfield. So <coughs> this is Paricutine. It started as a little crack in the earth. And it got bigger and bigger. After about a month or so it was at its full height. So here we use glitter glue and we we use glitter and we see the cornfield it's all glittery the corn color so when we made a I made a bit of we made a bit of red down the sides of the volcano to make it a little more realistic and we did the clouds black we lift up this tab back down and all you see is the ash cloud. You happen to learn more about that particular volcano in the science the same week, didn't you? That's what I was talking about, about the crack in the cornfield. Callista, what else is in there? Let's put it back up. There is Stonehenge. Yeah, it's one of the medieval wonders of the world. And what does Stonehenge do? Okay, let's bring it over around. Let me just leave it turned around. Yeah. And look, so, this is kind of <laughs> cool. This, when we flap it up, there's a picture over here, and it says Stonehenge. We lift it up, and there's a pop-up. So there's the sky in the background and the sun. And did you know, the sun lines up with the top stone was the top, the very edge of Stonehenge, and there we made, there's a wee pop up bit you can make, and that you can write a bit, wee bit about it down below. Have you learned anything more about Stonehenge? Well, Stonehenge, or similar places. We yes, met sir. Sir. a mini Stonehenge. Yes, it's called the Giant's Ring on the west side of Belfast. So south side of Belfast and it it's called the Giant's Ring because it's basically a big ring uh, but actually beside um yeah and when you come from the, where the entrance is you go straight ahead the big hill go up the hill you'll see a giant potato field <laughs> anyway about that, and there's a little, um, like, it's like a mini Stonehenge. Right Dol in, dolmen. Dolmen, right in the middle of the field. And the field is a really big circle as well, just like it, the giant's ring. And, um, that was, it was actually used as t someone important was buried there. Yeah. Under those stones, and so. We, oh, we put thirty eight And there. I forgot <clears throat> about Paracutine. It um. What was I going to say about it? Um, what was I going to say about Paracutine? I'm not sure. I mean, Callie Something can tell I us forgot. about Victoria Falls. Oh yeah, there's Victoria Falls. There's a little box here. Little What's in the there. post? Victoria Falls! It's a letter! It's a postcard actually. It's like this. Okay? And we put it like this. We write a little bit about it. Okay? I made a lot. I made all of this and I found the envelope. I thought it actually looks like a real envelope box. Real box? Get what is down below there, Calista? Mm, here. Yes. And I forgot about 
Victoria Falls. Who named it? Captain James Cook. Founded. I think it was Captain James Cook. Anyway, what's here? This is the Grand Canyon. I colored these pictures. So, does this thing open up? Okay, so first of all is the history. I, I made a wee picture down here that goes with this. Well, it goes with the Grand Canyon. And then here is flora and fauna. 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 I did a bit about it here. And if we here, if we lift it up, I made a pink, um, a Grand Canyon pink rattlesnake. And there's a rattle. <laughs> and then if we flap this up, there's the indigenous people, peoples. And the, I've made a piece of pottery here, a bowl, to go with this. That's that. Next. Oh, right. Next, we have to flap this across. I don't need this part to read this part. Okay. What's next on these bits? No, we don't flap it over. Um, next, there's the Panama Canal. Calista, what would you like to show us? I'm not sure, really. That was weird. How about the Northern Lights there? Well, there's a bit of in the size that, that you can take out. Oh no, it's a pop. Uh, yeah, it's a pop. Uh, that's a picture of the Northern Lights. You turn it, actually. Yeah. So you <clears> can <throat> lift it up and you can actually turn this. It's nifty, like it. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and then in here there's information about it. Close that up. Oh, the cana Panama Canal has went weird on us. Rats. And no, but the Panama Canal, you open it up, it tells you a bit about it. You close it up. Put this up here. So there's... I'm afraid this has went a little wonky. Stuck. Okay, we'll fix it up in a moment. Yeah, but we if we open up the flap, there's the wall that is made on, on top of, and there, this bit, see that there's a bit of paper that's meant to be here, and you can see through it, but if you lift it up, right up, there's a boat that's been cut up, and it goes over top of here, so when you close it up, it looks like there's a boat in the canal. And what's below that? The Golden Gate Bridge. So, can you tell them? This bit here is lots of fog. And the reason why it's called the Golden Gate Bridge because it's really golden. There's two golden gates on each side. There's one on each side. Now we can flap this up. It tells you a bit about it. There's questions that you have to fill in. Close this up. You just want to say, talk about Max. The Great Barrier Reef. Mm, yes. Where is that? It's in the river, in the sea. It's on the... It's a sea plant. It's on the east, the northeast coast of Australia. And it tells you a bit about it. But if you pull this around here, yeah. there's a clownfish. And then you can put it back in again. Pop your little clownfish. Okay, you have two more there. You open it up, it tells you a bit about it. Okay. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, this one. We forgot about this. We forgot about this one. Yeah, that too. The real, the harbor of Rio de Janeiro. That's in Brazil. The east, the northeast, the southeast coast of Brazil. You open it up, there's another wee pop up. That's our statue. That's the statue. Mm. So it tells you a bit about it here. Oh, and we forgot about this. The... I forgot what that one is. I can't read it. It's a little more difficult to read. 
You open it up and tell us something about it. Medieval wonder of the world. Yeah, a lot of these are medieval. But this one's cool. This pops up! <laughs> so up here, there's Mount Everest. The first person to get to the very um, summit. To get to the summit of Mount Everest. And to make Everest. this look like snow, you have to there's yeah, some salt glue and put salt all around it. It tells you loads of bits about it through here. And you f can flap this up and flap that up. Okay. Here, the channel panel. The tunnel tunnel. Some channel tunnel. This next name is a tunnel. It goes from Folkestone, England, to France. And this, if we pop up inside, we can get it. Ah, here we go. If we pop up, oh, this is stuck. There we go. There's a bit here, and it tells you about it. And it's that black line there, that's the channel. And there's a train. There's the train that goes through it, coming out of the channel. There. And we we'll close that up. There's also here. The Netherlands North Sea Protection Marks. If you open these up, the water flows, but if you close them, they block the water. You can flap this down. So Why did you want to block the water in the Netherlands? Oh, well, see, a long time ago, they, ha they had walls built to stop the sea from flooding because it was so high. But it was higher than, it was higher than the land. So they had a, the walls didn't help, it still flooded, the lower ones. So they made this. And yeah, it you it up, they built it here. And there's a map a bit about it up here. And we, fold, uh, we can fold it back down. Fold that back up. And here. here. And there is the timeline of mm -hmm. everything. There's everything yeah. in here. So it comes quite long from one. Oh yeah, it's even longer. It's quite long from 300 B, 3000 BC, all the way up to 2000 AD. Okay, so that one, the channel is actually the newest thing on here on the list. Sea and Tower is before it. No, that's There's not the newest. Yeah, that's the newest. What did you enjoy doing this lap pack? Yes, I loved it. Costa? Yep. The actually the party cutting is not actually that old. It was in and that's the best part. And that's the best part that I like build it and also the where is it? Oh and also there's the ancient wonders of the Worlds, the ancient war wonders of the world. And yes. Yes. No. The, the, great bar bit about. the Great Barrier Reef in Park Hattin is my favorite bit about, mm. about this. That book, that pack. It's and then that's all that's in here. It's so but then it gets quite confusing. There's lots of pages. It gets so you have to read before you do the things that tells about it. It takes a while to get used. I still haven't got used to the get to fold it back together. And then right here the sheet sheet for the instructions. To and that's everything. all that's in this lap pack to put everything together. Do you like homeschool in the wood products? Yes! yes. We've done many a few before. There's ancient Egypt there was um, the Middle Ages. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was the Middle Ages. Well, what are you doing next? The Knights. Yes, Knights. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so that'll be our next review on the woods. Homeschool in the woods. And we, um, yeah, yeah, I, I like their products. I really do. 
Bye. Bye. Bye.